Hey guys, welcome back to an only legend. Today we've got a championship game against Crystal Palace and an FA Cup game against Stoke. Since you were last with us, uh, we just done the roundup in the last episode. Uh, we then played Birmingham and Reading, where we beat them three nothing and two nothing. We then drew with Watford, lost against West Brom. We then beat Rotherham and Coventry, we beat off of Barnsley and we've drew the last two against West Brom and Millwall. So that is leaving the league table like this. A big improvement from where we were when we took over the club. We were 22nd, we've now jumped up and we seem to be playing We seem to be playing really well to be honest. So hopefully that can continue. We have made a couple of transfers. We brought in Aaron Connolly for 1.2 million, could rise to 1.5 from Watford. He is a 24 year old Irish international. He he looks pretty decent for this level, and hopefully, we'll be able to keep him around and be our main striker because I think having him at the club will help our chances of getting promoted. We then brought in Matthias Perez from West Ham on loan. Just until the end of the season, he looks like a decent backup option. If not, he could possibly start. He does look like a really good player. We have sold Oliver Burke to Sturm Graz for £7.25 million. I've never really rated Oliver Burke, so I thought we'd cash in on him. And getting £7 million for him, I think, is a bit of a steal. And we sold Joseph Anang to Dundee United for £89k. But that's all that's really happened. So let's just get stuck into today's first match against Palace. And this is the team that we're putting out against Palace. We've got Bachman and Goals, Timon, Timon, Helic, Wood, Spence at the back, Peter Harris, Piero, and Tavinier in the midfield, Chavez and Allen on the wings, and Ulundulu. Is that how you pronounce his name? Uh, up front, we have been playing really well recently, so I'm hoping that we can put in a decent performance against Palace. Palace are sitting third, so going away to them will be a tough match. But having that wee bit more quality in the team compared to the likes of Albion Rovers and Hamilton, I'm able to play one of the more, one of my favourite tactics in the game, a 4-3-3. And I think this Middlesbrough side suits it very well. Tavernier and Piero, Piero in the midfield have been fantastic for us since I've came to the club. That was a nice corner from Chavez and a nice header from Helic. Sends us 1-0 up. As I did say earlier, we have been playing really well. Uh, we have let in a few late goals, but... I think that's just part and parcel of the system that we're playing because it's so much more intense, like the pressing, <coughs> excuse me, we're pressing really high and we're pressing a lot, so I do expect us to tire a wee bit, but hopefully when the team starts to get more used to the system, they won't concede as many late goals as we have been. Chavez out to Bola. Can he find the cross? He does. It's in there, but Dan just couldn't direct the header by the keeper. That was a poor defensive header. I think it was a defensive header, and we give away another penalty. Even down in England, we still give away 
a lot of penalties. I think this is four penalties we've given away since I've joined Middlesbrough. But we go into the break uh, one each. So we are the underdogs. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Let's encourage the team. We did play well. It was just that wayward header that let in their right winger. So hopefully we can maybe snatch another goal. Bola, can he find the cross? He does, and Dan is there and taps it in for his 10th of the season. Oh, I totally forgot about the time. But we'll make the sub now. Uh, we'll bring off... Alan for Jasper. And we'll just leave it at that then now. We might make a sub near the end of the game. Like now we'll take off... Uh, take off Pereiro for Crooks. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully the extra, well, fresh leg, sorry, in the midfield, we won't get overrun. Hopefully this leads to a chance for us and not another late goal conceded. But Bola's out on the left again, he beats his man, can he get the cross in again? He does, Tavernier's there and Tavernier heads in his... Second of the season and our third on the day. This is turning out to be a fantastic match for us. This will be a this is, well, this won't be this is a cracking result for us. Three one away to Palace. That was amazing. Bola was absolutely amazing out on that left hand side. But we are getting a lot of injuries recently, so. Hopefully we'll still be able to keep up the good form with the amount of players that we're going to be missing. But we'll be back in just a minute for the FA Cup third round against Stoke. Right guys, and we're back. Before we get stuck into the FA Cup, we have done a couple of bits of transfer business. We loaned in James Clark, uh, Jake Clark Salter from... Cardiff on loan. We then got Sean Longstaff from Wolves for a million who and Alexis Alexis Culo Culo from Santos. He can play on both sides of the pitch, so that'll provide good cover for us. We loaned out a couple of people, we sold a couple of people that weren't really in the first team squad, but Sadly, we had to let go of Mark Bola, who in the last match played an absolute blinder. But he wanted to leave, so there was nothing we could do to stop him. But that's all that's happened so far. So this is the team that we're sending out against Stoke. We've got Bachman and goals. Spence, Helic would Burke at the back. Per Harris, Piero, Tavernier in the middle. Chavez and Allen in the wings and Dan up top. Hoping to get a good result against Stoke here. The way we've been playing, I think we can definitely do it. Stoke with the first highlight. Hopefully we can maybe snatch the ball. Not Stoke's going down the left-hand side where we're weak the now. Stokes just passing it about, but Helic heads it back to Bachman. That was, that was a nice bit of defending. Heading it back to the goalkeeper like that. But now it's our turn to attack, but the ball just gets lumped forward and Stoke easily retained possession. Uh, 
and Stoke go 1-0 up inside 20 minutes. That's that was that came from that poor lump up front. Well, lump to the baller. <laughs> lump up top went to no one. Uh, Stoke going down the right side again, and this time they head it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Can Dan get the cross in? He passes to Chavez, who passes it back to Spence, to Harris, to Tavernier, plays it through to Chavez, but that brings out a good save from the Stoke goalkeeper. Piero with the corner to the back post, but gets cleared. <coughs> Allen to Tavernier. Tavernier crosses, Dan's there, but gets cleared. Let's demand more. We have had a few chances, so... Definitely in a chance of turning this game around. Dan charging at the defence now. Passes to Allen, who beats a couple of players. Can he get the cross in? He does. But it's just a, a Stoke player. And now Stoke are on the counter-attack. Down the left, their left-hand side again. But block, it, the cross gets blocked. Oh my god, I can't speak the now. That was a good run from Allen. He should have kept going. But uh, Tavernier's in. Dan. Tavernier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tavernier passes to Dan. And Dan scores. <clears throat> Just can't seem to talk. That was a good clearance from Allen. Half time. And it's a one each. Not disappointed with that. Going to Stoke is a hard game, but I believe we can do a bit better, so let's demand more. Seems as though the Stoke fans aren't really interested in this game because the stadium doesn't even look as if it's a quarter full. Nothing seems to be happening, so we'll make subs. We'll bring on Aaron Connolly for Dan. The two wingers have been absent, so we'll replace the two wingers. And hopefully the new front three will be able to create something. Let's demand more and we'll even go attacking. Stoke with the highlight here. Can we maybe snatch the ball back? We have been winning the ball back quite a lot recently in the opponent's half, but Stoke seems to have played through his... That was really poor defending. That was really poor. So, let's go... All out, we're chasing the game, we might as well go for it. Spence with the throw in, back to Helic. Helic. Piero now to Cuello. To Jasper, can he get the cross again? And he does, but Tavernier can't get to it. Helic intercepts the long ball. Then lumps the ball, the ball up himself to no one. Tavernier now, Jasper again. Connolly's in, but I think Connolly's offside. Yep. Oh my god. There's so many goals that get chopped off in this game this year. Stoke on the attack. One more goal from then, and that just kills the game. It looks as if they're just going to pass it around because they don't need to do anything else. But we are not. Oh, oh. That's it. Game done.
not going to lie, i seen these two games. thought we might have beat the Palace game, but I definitely thought we would have won the Stoke game. But we didn't. That was very poor. That was really disappointing. I uh, honestly thought that we might have won that game. But hey ho, that just means that, that means we can just focus solely on the league now because we're out of both cups. So I think the next episode we'll come back for will be we'll come back for the Charlton and Wickham games. And hopefully by then we'll have a decent run of form and hopefully a few wins under our belt. So if you liked that in any way, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more Football Manager 22 content on the channel, please hit subscribe, turn your notifications on, and thank you very much for watching.